Well, we are living in a world, folks, where so often science fiction is becoming science fact, where remote controlled warfare weapons are used more and more to kill enemies and to spy. Check out these cyborg insect drones. They're called nano quadrotors. Uh, they're developed by K Mill Robotics and the University of Pennsylvania. So these devices can be controlled from far distances, and they may look teeny tiny, but they're actually equipped with cameras, and microphones, and experts say this advanced technology, uh, that technology is advanced enough that it could land on you, use its needle, and take a DNA sample, or it could inject a micro-tracking device under your skin. And guess what it would feel like? It would feel like the prick of a mosquito bite. All right, I'm not trying to fear monger here. I'm just saying this is some of the technology that is out there, available for use by our top, top tech teams and perhaps, too, by our government right now. Check this out as well. A 50 gigapixel camera. It's called Aware 2 Camera System. Kind of looks like another insect with hairs, but those are actually wires and ports, parts of multiple cameras to take multiple pictures from multiple angles. I think there's 98 of them uh, at, at that amazing zoom level. Then there's also the DOD's Advanced Hypersonic Weapons Program. This is a glider-type vehicle, and it, quote, provides the President, Secretary of Defense, and Combatant Command with the ability to quickly destroy, delay, or disrupt key enemy targets within a few hours. So in this era of drones, it's important to stay on top of some of these developments, if nothing else, to realize we ain't seen nothing yet.